Armored vehicles are built on the basis of Toyota and Dodge. A new Ukrainian company for the manufacture of armored vehicles, Upramotic, showed three promising models. Byrobnik, Rosbotet to the robot a little bit of the past fate, armored car, weighted Gorza, under the new Ukrainian company, Upramotic. Military and police armored personnel, carriers, created by the Upramotic company, use the aggregate base of Toyota. Ford or Dodge Suts and Pickups. The manufacturer claims that it can produce a machine of any level of protection and internal configuration. In addition, there is an opportunity to convert the vehicle for any types of weapons. This video shows the weighted Gursa armored vehicle created on the Dodge Ram 5500 Tradsman wheelbase. The total number of seats is 10 people including the driver. It has a V-shaped double floor and can withstand the detonation of explosives with a charged mass of 6 g according to the statement of the retailers of this MRAP main. The like hinged bottom, which is visible when the vibrating buff is loaded with a charge of 6 PC Riven armor, Sen Riven 6, Colso base Dodge Ram 5500 Tradesman, Engine 6.76 Cummins Turbo D in Bath Nut, Dunitz region. Soldiers of the State Border Service of Ukraine prevented the Russian invaders from changing their tactical position and repelled another enemy attack on a stronghold. Thus, during the attempts of the Russian infantry to take positions closer to the defense line, the border guards forced the invaders to retreat in a shooting battle. In the neighboring quarter, using small arms and grenade launchers, the defenders repelled an attack by the Russians on a stronghold of the border guards. Small arms and grenade launchers of our defenders forced the invaders to retreat with losses. Russia's war against Ukraine continues, but the leading countries of the West are already thinking about how to help Kyiv rebuild what was destroyed. The organizer of the forum was Germany as the chair country of the seven group. In addition to the seven leading industrial countries of the world, the leaders of the European Union, international financial institutions and Ukraine took part in it. The event was originally conceived not as a conference of donor countries, but as an expert meeting for the exchange of opinions. Specific financial commitments were not announced, but the model plan became clear. How much money does Ukraine need for recovery for now, one thing can be said for sure. The restoration of Ukraine may take tens of years and require hundreds of billions of us dollars. German Chancellor Olaf Stolz and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, in a joint article for the Frankfurter Algemeen newspaper, called it a generational task that must be started now. Both called it the new Marshall Plan, comparing it to the package of us aid to European countries for recovery after the Second World War. Ukraine will definitely win and rebuild everything. Glory to Ukraine.